guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Feminine to this week's begin reading for May. Sorry if those birds are too loud. Um, May the 14th until the 21st. <laughs> wow, they really have a lot to say. Okay, so I'm using the Call It Baron Reed um, Good Tarot and I'm going to do a split yin yang. So that's how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the masculine, how you feel about the relationship, what you fear, uh, what you want, and what will be, and this will be your overall energy, the six of wands. I'm just going to see if this is in reverse. Okay, so yeah, it is in reverse. Um, I don't think this deck is meant to be read in reverse. Let me just double check. So the Six of Wands um, is movement forward. It's feeling inspired. People are cheering you on. If you are the rock star. And so it's in reverse. Okay, so stepping into the limelight, being an enlightened influencer. So a generously model, a generously model with transformation so that others might be inspired. I put my light atop a hill so it can shine forth, helping others to find their way. I remain aware of shadows and people who have trouble basking in the warmth um, of the warm light of higher awareness. Okay, so right away it's kind of, you know, pointing the fact that the high priest, that illuminated one, was a major theme in the twin flame reading, and you're holding that energy. You're not allowing negativity to, to, to bother you. You're reflecting that. So it's time to renew my trust that I am contributing to the highest good of all in my own unique way. So it's in reverse. So how you feel, you know, the, the next, for the next week is maybe feeling stuck. Um, not, you know, feeling like you're not influencing others, that you're not the light worker. Feeling a challenge, you know. Um, so the energy would be to turn that and to turn that around, to be grateful for all that you have, the support that you have, the love that you have, and you know the major, the, the final message uh, from the universe was for you to look after yourself, to let go of control. You can't change anything, you know. So allow things to happen as they should. And that's what the masculine is doing. He's slowing down. He's taking one thing, you know, one step at a time. So how do you feel about yourself is the three of fire, three of wands. So again, the sense of movement. Um, the three of wands is getting a thumbs up from the universe, right? So let me just look at that as well. So three of fire, how you feel about yourself. Okay, so expansion of opportunities, the fullness of creativity, achievement. I am the, on the right path towards my success. I have an abundance of opportunities before me. I need to trust myself, for I can make good choices for myself and co-create situations and relationships that are in harmony with my heart's desire. Okay, so you're being drawn towards your heart's desire. You feel that things are starting to... I just want to reverse this to remember that there is a blockage there. Um, so in terms of yourself, you feel a momentum, you feel drawn to the four of wands, right? 
which is a confirmation of the twin flame connection. Uh, yeah, so let's continue on here. Let's see what the rest of the reading has to say. So how do you feel about the masculine six of pentacles? So the six of pentacles is openness, sharing, giving of yourself, sh you know, sharing your wealth with another person. So I'm just going to read the top part. So it says unexpected resources, happy surprises, generosity. Um, so what you send out comes back to you. So in terms of the relationship, um, we got purity here, the white deer, you know, the, this is definitely a very, uh, a masculine deer here with the antlers. And so you, you see him as being strong, stable, grounded, and possibly open. The extended reading will definitely clarify that clarify that. Okay, so uh, how do you feel about the relationship? I'm really having a hard time talking today. Oh, wow, the Two of Cups. It showed up a couple of times in the Twin Flame reading. It's also showing up in the future for the masculine. So how you feel about the relationship is you see that your ma masculine as your Twin Flame, as your mirror. You, on a 5D level, you feel him. Uh, so this is the relationship, how you view the relationship. So what I'm seeing here is momentum, movement towards that connection, and that momentum is also seen on the masculine side, being drawn. Yeah, I almost want to turn this back around again. Uplifting energy. Okay, so what do you fear? The Queen of Swords. So it could represent an air sign, but it, it could represent wanting to say something, and you're afraid that what you have to say might hurt um, your masculine or somebody, maybe, you know, this is the qu uh, Queen of Ice, right? Very cold. She's not ruled by her emotions. There's an owl here who's very wise. So mental clarity. But in this card, there is a very gentle feeling that is coming from her. So you fear saying what you need to say. You, and maybe that's where that, why that energy is turned upside down. Um, maybe you feel there's no movement with the masculine. You've been waiting. Okay, so what do you want? The hermit. So what I'm seeing here is a closed door. So you want to retreat. You want to be alone. You, you're finding solace in solitude. Okay, let me just read that there. All right, so time out. Sometimes it's necessary to take time out for regrouping and introspection. This is a temporary experience, but one that is necessary for my growth. When I step back, retreat, regroup, and renew, I have clear perspective on everything in my life. Okay, so I am reading so much. I didn't read this much for the masculine reading, but I feel there's more clarity that is needed. So maybe you are the one that is cutting yourself off right and maybe you're feeling like you're too cold but you seek solitude you want to find yourself or rediscover yourself and so what will be is call judgment you will hear the calling the answers will come to you there will be illumination um, You know, and this is also reviewing your life and realizing that you can create a new reality, one that's more in line with yourself, right? So I feel everything coming in to alignment. Okay, so let me pull one card from Call It Ben Reed. So this will be a final message from the universe. Messages do you have for the feminine? Stop. 
Treasure Island. Nice. So this is abundance flowing towards you. I, I'm hearing, you know, have no fear. Um, but remember that in the Twin Flame reading, one of the messages as the final message from the universe was to create boundaries. You know, don't allow negative energy to affect you. Look after yourself. Put yourself first. Okay, so the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the result of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and sharing of good fortune. So yeah, that's that abundance flowing back into your life. So the relationship message, your relationship is a treasure, um, providing even more than you need, but you may not see that right now, no matter how long you've been together. You and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourself and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync. There's that synchronicity again, and being in sync, being in harmony. And everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. So continue to be open. And as a result, that love will flow back into your life. Right? Have no fear. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to and that energy will flow back to you. All right, so let's do the extended reading. All right, I will see you in a moment. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, cheers. Back, so this is the extended yin reading. So I'm gonna pull three additional cards per position for clarifiers using my small deck here. Okay, so beginning with the feminine position here, how she feels about herself. So it's a three of fire, so there's m movement forward, momentum building, the strength card, the ten of pentacles, and nice, the yin. So the strength card, past position, you feel that you've been kind, you've been compassionate, you've been you know, taming that beast within, you're not lashing out, you know, and if ener negative energy comes towards you, you create an environment that is safe. The present position, you're looking to the long term, you're seeing a vision of this goal that you want to manifest, but also uh, there's a sense of you feeling grounded and successful within yourself, and this is going to bring more abundance into your life, right? Treasure Island, manifestation, um, a movement into yourself, into your authentic self, right? Love, kindness, compassion, home. You are home. You, you feel like you are home. And this feeling is moving you forward in the ethereal realm as well. So I actually just want to pull one clarifier for this. What do you mean But whoa, transformation, okay. So you need to transform, um, you know, put a death to the ego. Um, not hide yourself away to say what you need to say. Cut away the things that are holding you back. And that's what the Queen of Swords has no problem doing. Same thing with transformation, all about cutting away. So, yeah, um, I feel you t detaching, unchaining yourself. Ooh, I don't want to get these all mixed up. Maybe I'll put this over here. Although it looked pretty cool in the light, didn't it? Yeah, I'll leave it there. Okay, so how do you feel about the masculine? So the Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the, the Sun card. And the Four of Pentacles. So the Three of Swords, past position, synchronicity. So the Three of Swords showed up twice on the masculine side, coming in from the past. So there's pain. But you see him as mending, um, as, as uh, growing, learning from the past, healing his wounds. 
present position, you see him as the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. You see him as a masculine energy as well, right? The mirror of you. Um, so this is abundance. This is um, free-flowing energy, like a child running naked through a field of flowers. So the future position, we have the Four of Pentacles. This actually showed up as a final outcome, so another synchronicity. So somebody being closed off, it's regression from the six to the four. So you see the masculine as, as hurting, but you see him as being your ray of light, your sunshine. Um, but in the future, there's, you know, there's this energy of him still being closed off and you not allowing it to bother you. I don't know. Or maybe he opens up. I don't know. Um, Okay, so how do you view the relationship as a two of cups? The moon, wow, patience again, very nice, and the chariot. So three major arcanas, along with the two of cups, so that spiritual union. Now the moon is what you're bringing in to the union for the twin flame reading. So there's this confusion. Um, you don't know what's happening. There's, you know, this veil of darkness keeping you from fully understanding um, you know how the, the masculine feels emotionally yeah so even though there's this deep love there there's a sense of you coming out of darkness and you're doing it in a very patient gentle way with the patience card um, this showed up in the near future I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try to remember all the places but it, it is a major theme in the readings that you're being, it also showed up in how the masculine saw you as patience. Okay, so you're embodying this energy, you're holding love in your heart, you felt that there was darkness and confusion, but you are in the now as much as you possibly can. You're focusing on positive things, and as a result, that will bring abundance into your life. The chariot is movement forward. So finally we have movement. Finally we have things picking up pace. This is you taking control of your life, overcoming challenges and obstacles. So things start to speed up in terms of the relationship. Okay, so you fear the Queen of Swords. Why? Third Eye Chakra, while the Eight of Swords in Reverse, and the High Priestess. So the third eye chakra, you've been doing some meditation, you've had clarity, you've discovered some answers, you're being represented as being very wise. Now, you know, this is using your the subconscious mind to guide you. So this is listening to your inner voice, it's paying attention to your dreams, it's paying attention to your behaviors, right? So there was this opening. Now, you feel that you're trapped. Now, the Eight of Swords was also a repeated theme. This is your final outcome, the Eight of Swords. So you fear that you're never going to be able to escape from whatever prison is holding you back, right? We got the Eight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. You're afraid to release yourself, open yourself back up, um, or you fear the masculine will never open himself up. I don't know. The future position, we have the High Priestess, so this is illumination. This is you, you know, um, having control over the dark forces, over the subconscious mind, seeing reality. Now, it's, remember, this is all in your fear position, so you need to return to that state of inner knowing um, and wisdom. And I really feel that's what the Queen of Swords is reflecting here wisdom, clarity of thought, and inner knowing, but also fear of cutting something out of your life. So you want the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, the Solar Plexus Chakra in Reverse, and the Magician. So the Nine of Cups in the past position, this shows up in the future position twice um, as your destiny. So you felt um, you know, this deep love and bond for the masculine, you want to reconnect with him, or you wanted to 
um, I don't even really feel like you want to reconnect with him. I feel that you already feel him in the ethereal realm and you feel that happiness and you're bringing that happiness into solitude. You almost know that all your dreams and wishes will come true, that long-term goal will manifest, but um, there are some blockages that you need to, to deal with. The sacral chakra is your emotional ch chakra, your relationships. You are withdrawing from any emotional baggage, any people that are trying to manipulate you emotionally, this is what you want. You want the hermit. You want solitude. You want clarity. All right. So that Four of Pentacles could very well be you closing off to the masculine, even though he brings you so much love and light. Um, no. You know, if this is you closing off in 3D, I don't really feel it. I feel it as a trigger. Um, it's like you almost have foresight in the future. You, you feel that he's always going to be closed off in, in reality. Um, you know, I feel you are the one that's closed off. You've got to shift your perspective. So the future position is the magician, the alchemist. So this is illumination, crown chakra activation, getting control of your thoughts and having the power to manifest your new reality so you are doing the right thing by withdrawing in order to deal with any emotional blockage and through that withdrawal there will be illumination but be careful not to avoid or, or block someone so what will be is the call so let me just read that so another major arcana so this is judgment card so call, purpose and true prosperity. I have everything I need right now to move forward with purpose. I'm calling into a deeper and more authentic relationship with myself, my higher power, and with others. I'm here for a reason. I'm required to step forward into my true self, expressing that through my action. I need to trust that my life has a purpose. There I am enough, and that within me is the divine blueprint that has meaning for myself and others. Right, and that's what you are doing. You're stepping into your divinity, into your authentic self. Don't be afraid. Don't close yourself off. Right? Be the alchemist. You have the power to create your reality. So let's pull three cards. Base chakra again. Two of wands. And, oh my god, the four of wands. Beautiful. So the base chakra past position, this was the card that was at the heart for both aspects in the Twin Flame reading. So not feeling safe, feeling vulnerable, not having your basic needs met, right? So those would be the things that you would want to cut away. And you're trying to create this, self, this home, this, you know, safe place. Um, and then that safe place is within you. So the two of wands, in the present position, that is that door opening. This is an expansion of self. That's great. You block, you clear that blockage, um, those fears. You know, the two, the three lower chakras are where the blockages occur. So I feel you opening yourself up. You hear the calling, and as a result, the twin flame connection comes to you. Confirmation of twin flame connection coming in the future. That's that treasure island on its way. All right, so, and it could be like somebody just calls you up, you know what I mean? All right, so I pulled an Osho Zen card for the masculines. I will do the same thing. So what final messages do you have? Wow, the Two of Cups again, friendliness, perfect. Uh, one minute. Okay, so let me read that to you. Okay, it says, the branches of these two flowering trees are intertwined. Isn't that cool? In the Twin Flame reading, I mentioned my view um, has a flowering tree. The petals are white. Cool synchronicity. Okay, so 
The branches of these two flowering trees are intertwined and their fallen petals blend together on the ground in their beautiful colors. It is as if heaven and the earth are bridged by love, but they stand individually, each rooted in the soul in their own connection with the earth. In this way, they represent the essence of true friends, mature, easy with each other, natural. There is no urgency about their connection, no neediness, no desire to change the other into something else. This card indicates a readiness to enter this quality of friendliness. In the passage, you may notice that you are no longer interested in all kinds of dramas and romances that other people are engaged in. <clears throat> it is not a loss. It is the birth of a higher, more loving quality, born of fullness of experience. It is the birth of love that is truly unconditional without expectations or demands. And we, we see you moving into the fool in the future, detached, but always holding that love in your heart. Very freaking cool. Okay, so I do hope this helped you guys. Uh, please like, share, and comment. Oh, and subscribe. All right, cheers.